Go. Now kick. Oh, yep. Yeah. Now as hard as you can. calculate compression ratio, we start by calculating the engine displacement. That is the volume that the piston sweeps from bottom dead center to top dead center. This is how and where the compression takes place. So we start off with the displacement of the engine as the base for our calculations. This is our starting point. We now have to adjust this number. To see more information on how uh, the engine displacement was calculated in more detail, refer to my displacement video. Now the reason we have to make more adjustments is because while that's the displacement and that's how much volume is being swept, that is not how much volume is being compressed. The volume actually being compressed includes the dome of the head. This dome is also required to be calculated in the volume being compressed, as well as the thickness of the gaskets used on the cylinder and the shape of the piston. A piston with a dome head will protrude into the dome of the cylinder head. A piston like this one that's a flat head will not. So we have to take all this into consideration when we calculate the compression ratio. Let's stick with our example of an RM400. We'll say that the piston has a flat top, the cylinder dome is 39 cc's of volume, the head gasket is 0.8 millimeters, and the base gasket is 1.5 millimeters, bringing for a total gasket thickness of 2.3. Calculate the gasket volume by replacing stroke in a displacement formula with the gasket thickness. This is because the bore actually can be looked at as slices of volume. We just need to multiply those slices of volume by the total height, which in this case is the gasket. In the case of displacement, it's the stroke. The total volume is the displacement plus the gasket volume plus the dome minus the piston, which in this case is zero. So we have a total volume in this case of 452 cc's. The compressed volume is the total volume minus the displacement. This is because the total volume is being compressed, the piston sweeps from bottom dead center to top dead center, the displacement size, and so what's left over is the difference between these two. So the ratio is then 452 cc's to 52 cc's. Now we can simplify this by dividing both sides by 52 cc's and get 9 to 1 compression ratio. So let's use some thinner gaskets. 0.3 millimeter head gasket and a 1 millimeter base gasket. The total thickness of 1.3 millimeter. 6.5 cc instead of 11 cc's. Plugging this into our formula, we end up with 9.8 to 1. We have increased our compression ratio by 0.8 just by modifying the gaskets. 
Let's get a little more complicated and add a dome piston. For theory's sake, we'll just say we have 10 cc's worth of piston dome. So now we take the displacement plus the gaskets, which we're using the thinner gaskets, plus the dome, minus the piston's displacement dome. And we get the new total volume, which is 437.5 cc. Now we subtract the displacement of the engine to get the smallest volume, which is 35.5 cc. Our new compression ratio is 12.3 to 1 which is much higher than what we started out with, which was 9 to 1. 